I've just sprayed the watercolor paints to activate them. You always want to spray them or add a little bit of water to them and give it a moment to let that water soak in to make the paints liquid. And this first color is called Summer Sun Red. And there's also an Ojibwe name for all of the paint colors. I'm not gonna try and pronounce it though since I don't speak that language. But this is a Nathal Red and all of the pigment numbers are available on the Bean Paints website so you can see exactly what pigment it's made from. And when I do a swatch, I make a gradient. So I begin with a very strong saturated color and then as I go down in the rectangle, I add more water and dilute the paint more to make it more transparent. This is something that you do a lot of in watercolor, so um, it's nice to just see how the paint is going to handle that. So from left to right, the on the first row of colors are Summer Sun Red, Cherry Magenta, Pumpkin, Bread, Morning Peach, and Fall Poplar Yellow. And now I'm beginning the second row and from left to right, it is spring leaf green, boreal forest green. This one is Lake Huron teal, very bright color. Almost night. And the next one is Payne's Gray, and then finally Graphite. And once those gradients have dried, now I'm just going over with a glaze, which is another layer of paint. And this is a pretty saturated layer of paint. So here they are, and they look really pretty. I just want to compare how the paints look on different types of paper. So the top paper is Arches paper, which is 100% cotton. And then the bottom paper is Strathmore paper, which is made from wood pulp. You can see how much brighter the colors are with the arches paper and the strat with the Stradmore paper the glaze looks pretty streaky i also want to have you look at the granulation of the paint it comes through a lot more in the arches paper so you can see how much of a difference that paper quality makes in the quality of your painting and you'll get better results and have more satisfaction with your painting if you use a really good quality paper that is 100% cotton paper. <laughs> 